Hello everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and here's how you can install the best free IPTV player for Fire Stick and Android TV Google TV devices. In this video, I'm using the popular On 4K Pro Android TV box, but I will also show how to set this up on the Amazon Fire TV systems as well. Now the first thing I want to do is install the free downloader application. On my remote, I'm going to hold down on the microphone button open Google Play. Okay. I'm going to move up, search, downloader, searching for the downloader app. There it is, the big orange icon. And you want the one that says downloader by AFTV News, install. I'm going to hit open, click OK, up button on the remote that puts the cursor in the URL box. OK button on the remote, opens the keyboard, and I'm going to type in 250931. This will open the free Troy Point Toolbox. Now the first thing I'm going to do is add the Troy Point Toolbox to favorites within Downloader. To do that, I'm going to hold down on the OK button of my remote for a few seconds, add current page to favorites, save, now in the future, when I come in here, it's going to be in favorites. I can click Troy Point Toolbox. Don't have to wait for the five-second load screen. And this does include dozens of applications not available within the respective app stores, such as the IPTV app we're going to install here shortly. Okay, now I'm going to go through the process on how to get to the same spot on a Fire TV device. Now, I do want to launch Surfshark VPN. I have already installed that on this device. I want to make sure that I am protected, and you will see it is connected, and it shows my anonymous IP address that it has assigned to me. Guys, I would never use any unverified IPTV app or service without first protecting myself with Surfshark VPN. Surfshark provides me with an anonymous IP address, so my identity is safe, and it also encrypts my internet connection, so my internet service provider can't record what I'm doing online. A link for a huge Surfshark discount is located in the notes below this video. Okay, I'm going to hit the home button on my remote. Surfshark will remain running in the background. So on this device, we want to go to search, hit the search box, type in downloader, move down, click downloader in the list. There it is. Download and that will install the app. Okay, Downloader has been installed. We're gonna do a few things differently on this device. I'm gonna to go to the home screen. I wanna move down, hover over the account icon and gear icon, move down, go into My Fire TV, and now I want to go into Developer Options. Now, for some reason, you don't see this in the list. What you want to do is go into About, Highlight the name of your Fire Stick and you want to click it seven times. You're gonna notice when I do it, it says no need you are already a developer because I've already gone through this process. But when you do it for the first time, it's gonna say you are now a developer. You're gonna go back to the previous screen and developer options will be listed here. Go into developer options, install unknown apps, and we want to turn on unknown apps for downloader. Now, if you're using an older Fire Stick, there's just going to be one toggle that you need to turn on that will cover all of the applications on your device. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the home screen. All the way to the end of the list, this icon here, I want to go into that, and that takes us to the page that shows all the applications installed on the Fire Stick. I'm going to launch Downloader. OK button. Up button. Same thing as we did on the On 4K Pro. Select button, two, five, zero, nine, three, one. Go. As with the same with the On 4K Pro, I'm going to hold down on the OK button for a few seconds. Add current page to favorites, save. And it is now in my favorite section, and it loads without the advertisements. Okay, now moving forward, everything we do is going to be the same on both devices because we are using the downloader app with the Troy Point Toolbox. So whether you're using Android TV, Google TV, or Fire TV device, everything should be fairly the same from here on out. Now there's two applications I want to install through the Toolbox. 
the most recent stable release of Surfshark VPN, and I want to install XC IPTV for our IPTV service. Now, if you don't already have your Surfshark VPN account, you can scan this QR code right here with your phone or tablet, and that will give you a huge discount plus free months. Okay, I'm going to scroll down by pressing the down arrow on the remote. Okay, here's Surfshark. I'm going to hit the download button. Now on Android TV, Google TV, when you first go to install something through Downloader, you're gonna see this. I'm gonna hit Settings. We want to turn on Unknown Apps for Downloader. Click Install. Now the reason we don't see this when first installing something on the Fire TV is because we already turned on Unknown Apps in the previous instructions. Surfshark has been installed. I'm gonna hit Done, Back button. We can delete the installation file. There's no need to leave that on the device. I'm going to scroll down. I'm looking for XC IPTV. Hit download. This is what we're going to use to set up our IPTV service. And again, for those of you on Fire TV devices, you're following the same exact instructions. Install. Done. We're going to delete that installation file as well. Okay, I'm done with downloader. Back to the home screen. Move down to the applications. I'm going to move these to the front of the list since I will be using these on a regular basis. So I'm gonna highlight Surfshark, hold down on the OK button of my remote for a few seconds, move, hit the OK button to drop it into place, and now I'm going to press XCIP TV. I'll put that right behind Surfshark VPN. Move down, click Done. Okay, before setting up my IPTV service, I definitely want to set up Surfshark VPN so we have an anonymous connection. So I'm going to launch Surfshark. And again, if you don't already have your Surfshark VPN account, link below this video, or you can use the QR code that was present on the Troy Point Toolbox page. I'm going to hit Login. And now I'm going to input the email address and password that I used when setting up my Surfshark account. Okay, I'm now logged in. I'm gonna move over, go into settings. There's just one setting I want to change. I wanna go into VPN settings and turn on kill switch. This is very important. You should never be using a VPN without a kill switch. What this will do is it will disable the internet and keep you protected if for some reason your VPN connection were to go down. Again, we don't want to provide these unverified IPTV services with our identifying IP address, nor do we want our internet service provider logging everything we're doing through these applications. So I'm gonna move over and hit Quick Connect. Click OK. VPN is connected and you'll see in the green box it says connected and now it has provided me with an anonymous IP address. We are now protected. I'm gonna hit the home button on my remote and the VPN will remain running in the background. One cool feature within Android TV, Google TV devices is if you come up here, go into settings, you're gonna see a message that says VPN is connected. So if you ever do wanna check without going actually into the application, you'll be able to see it right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and launch XC IPTV. And now you can connect your IPTV service by typing in the details here provided by them that you receive in your welcome email after registering. Be sure to look at the video notes below for important links that accompany this video. And I will also add an FAQ section in that area with answers to the most common questions. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and click the bell icon so you're notified when I release new videos like this in the future. As always, have a great day, and thanks for following Troy Point.